This is gonna be a really short and easy tool for hard surface modeling in Blender using add-ons. Let's go. All right, guys, welcome back, and let's model something cool. So shift to add a cylinder, Alt V, cavity, and here 15 of 32. Right now, this is not for beginners, as you can probably guess from the pacing of this tutorial. So if you are a beginner, uh, go ahead and grab the link to our free jumpstart course which is uh, in video description it's going to teach you a great deal about blender and the basics it's really fantastic and uh, one, you know once you grow up come back here and uh, we can have some fun so let's just add some loops here and uh, let's just add loops here as well we don't need loops all over the place actually we do because we're going to be adding some other stuff later on so let's just do that and uh, we're going to combine them so you know um Boolean's union. Now shift to control, click on sharp and click alt click this one, Y and offset cut. Now offset cut is a feature with mesh machine. So if you don't know how to use it, right, um, go ahead and watch my tutorial because I have one. Actually I have few. This should be enough I think. Um, and just, uh, you know, let's just bevel this here. Uh, PG. You'll have some shading artifacts here and there, but click out, click Y, Boolean cleanup. Scroll your mouse and move these. There we go. Click out, click. Let's see that. Boolean cleanup. Will this help the shading? Yes, it will. It's not perfect, but you know, it's almost perfect. Okay, so no one gives a shit. Cool. So here we're going to select these two faces and inset them, right? And then delete them okay select this loop here and then this loop and press 2 with machine tools you need to have enabled the smart vert for this to work okay run some loops there and then enable uh, the dots here D and we're gonna run a circle here hold shift and scroll your mouse up until you're gonna get 50 segments in here and you know punch it through okay and then we're gonna apply this so control sharp and then, then same thing I click out click and then Y not boolean clean up offset cut and just run a boolean here it should be fine and then you know same here offset cut and bevel and click out click you know offset cut and bevel right don't need to clean it, I think, but if you want to, you know, click out, click Y, Boolean cleanup, same dance. Scroll your mouse to change the um, change the algorithm to outside, and it should be fine. Here, click, click, and uh, let's actually grab a chamfer, but to do that, here we're going to remove this edge first, so we can run a deeper chamfer here, right? And then click out, click, and smaller chamfer here. Now, I could mirror this to the bottom, but technically, you know, maybe it's not the best idea. So I'm just going to run a chamfer here and chamfer here. And the same here. So click out, click. Whoa. Uh, click out, click, and chamfer. And then click out, click, and smaller chamfer. Peachy. So now I'm going to grab a cube, okay, and scale it down. I know, maybe not that much. Move it up here. And and maybe a little bit wider and a bit longer cool so apply scale and then chamfer this and bevel it here i think alt x to the other side pg now this could be actually a bevel you know okay let's fuse it so let's go here and fuse it right it's gonna be a bevel and then alt x so we got bevel there and we could run a bevel here too, like that. I'll text to the bottom, and then we're going to, you know, grab the cutter here. So, um, Alt H, grab this cutter, Shift to, Shift D, and copy that, and you know, cut this cube. So it's gonna be going through like that. Let me just uh, have a scroll this and make it a little bit wider. It's gonna be a bit more interesting, right? Something like that. Cool. I like that. Okay sharpen and then we're going to click out click here press on loop select and then y and 
we're gonna run offset cut on this one now this is gonna be a bit more problematic i don't even know if it's possible but we can try there we go and bevel did it work he kind of did um it messed up in here a little bit but what we can do is actually go back here let me see that can we actually run a, a loop in here in the middle let's just combine these all text to the other side it's gonna make it shorter right okay fuck it so let's just combine them properly here and then we can run loops in here see in the middle right so we can do that peachy and then we can just you know all text right and then we can run offset cut so click alt click loop y offset cut and let's uh, uh let's try it shall we so how is it now it's a bit better so click alt click here y boolean cleanup and let's just uh, maybe clean these uh, there's a lot of them in here maybe it's too dense maybe it's too dense you know let's make it less dense okay so offset cut and let's just you know drop the factor down okay to something a bit more reasonable that's more reasonable right so let's try it now click out click and then boolean clean up there we go that's better so sometimes you need to go a little bit easy on the you know on the amount they should clean it up pretty nicely yeah perfect and then regularly sharpen to remove them okay and then we're gonna merge them so you know booleans and union right and then sharpen this cool so here with this done let's just run a bevel on it okay that looks good we got some problem here but we can fix that so we need to isolate this here we could just do something like that maybe and probably gonna get better there we go same here just run it here and you know release the pressure over there and then i'll take to the other side and we're good to go to make things more interesting because we're not boring people we're interesting people we're gonna cut it on the top here so just turn off the dots here and uh, let me see that draw origin here there we go got reset for some reason so now uh, what, what, what i was doing oh yes i was cutting here right i think we could cut something like this here is gonna be interesting of course bevel that let's give it like maybe i don't know 14 segments and slice right cool that looks good so sharpen and then you know so here I click alt click and offset cut and factor maybe two i think this is gonna be good and then simply bevel it there we go we're gonna have a bit of a problem again but we can fix it right click alt click and boolean cleanup and you know we can connect these it's gonna be fine okay and same should be in the bottom click alt click here and offset cut on the bottom I'm not gonna be cleaning the whoa that's too deep be careful not to go too deep yeah um i'm not gonna be cleaning the bottom because no one's gonna be seeing that so who gives a shit so here cool now in the middle here you know we could have like a bolt or some some such so also this got messed up pretty bad you seen this so what we could do here it's isolated so boolean clean up and just clean it up on this one the other one there we go this is gonna be a bit better and also here we need to clean it up so uh, click out click and um offset cut and you know boolean this i mean bevel this and then click out click y boolean clean up and just you know clean it up a little bit peachy looking good technically to fix the shading we should do this one as well so offset cut and you know bevel and then uh click out click and 
we're gonna clean up and just clean it up a little bit okay should fix the shading in the middle cool now we're not gonna be able to see the shading anyway because we're gonna be using um, like a bolt inside so grab this uh, shape inside so alt h to recover colors and grab that q settings and shift click on um sheet solid okay and then shift to the hide the colors now we need to extend it through this um thing so s y you know make it a little bit larger cool and i'm gonna make it smaller so uh s and uh shift y right a bit peachy and then we're gonna drop a loop in here and grab this and right click and you need to enable thread in uh, machine tools okay so go to machine tools click here and enable th oh, it's enabled cool so um i should be able to do that now uh, machine tools here and add thread okay and we're going to add more of these right awesome i like that and the same thing here in the back so you know um here and thread boom then grab this one and then extrude it a little bit then we're going to scale it so e cancel with right mouse button scale it then extrude it okay and we're going to chamfer it right awesome so could actually you know scale it here in gy boom and bevel it now the bevel needs to be tiny because you're working with screw and screw you know is uh as shift y just make it a bit small um you, you gotta be careful with bevel because otherwise you're gonna overshoot on these edges they're very thin so you know be careful and you know this is pretty cool actually i like that really simple very short exercise and you could add some you know some stuff to it on top of that we got that for example some uh, something here but this could be done with uh, you know with decals so alt m alt m and add material and then material here and we can just go to cycles to see how it looks um it's a little bit dark uh, so maybe we can make it brighter um you know okay maybe not as uh, could be like a powdered sort of uh, aluminium or whatever maybe a bit dark like a gunmetal color and this could be, you know, this could be brighter, yeah, so it could be a brighter bolt, but maybe slightly less uh, rough, more reflective. Uh, some like that, you know, maybe darker because it's a bit too bright. There you go. For example, this one, click, alt click, and this could be, uh, this could be beveled. There you go. Right, and so these could be beveled as well. I mean, since we're not using we're using a tiny, I mean tiny bevel, right? You know, it's gonna be easier to bevel this manually. Okay. So, okay, cool. Um, this could be actually a you know kind of hollow inside here like that, uh, and we could select these and bevel them as well. Boom. Okay, cool. You know, we could have some um, some decals here. So, for instance, we could have. By the way, these are for from our pack from the Ultimate um, Decal Pack by Blender Bros. Um, we have tons of them. I su suggest you grab them because they're fantastic. They will save you a shit ton of time in terms of you know uh, adding details to your models. So, really, really, really useful. And uh, we could actually make it smaller. In fact, we could rotate this, make it small like that, and put one here, and you know, one here in the front, and then double click, and then D and project right boom. And that's one, and we could just you know, mirror that. Cool. This should be a bit darker, I think. You know, there we go. So click that and reapply. Okay, it's gonna reapply them. Here on the top, or maybe, yeah, here on the top, we could have some, you know, some trims or whatnot. Um, either here or here. D and, you know, whatever, whatever goes. Just hold Alt and uh, you can add a trim. 
like this is really cool for example could have something like this on the bottom as well second trim when you add in do not hold out just click and you're gonna be good to go it's got a good nice separation there uh, we could have something here maybe you know some number whatever on the bottom of that project boom and then if you want to copy it to the other side copy into flip the mirror yeah so go to mirror control tilde click on data and you and boom you're done now this text is a bit bright so we could drop it down to you know a bit dimmer so this is gonna kind of um fit with the uh with the theme here on top we could have some decals as well just for fun so we could have you know maybe like two one here and one here and you know project them so project them and then mirror and you're done and you got a really nice piece okay with kind of like a you know a bit of a detailing and uh very simple and then we can just grab a plane you know whoa drop it down put some mat on it okay maybe not as reflective and the blender is gonna crash so let's just open it up um, I need to switch to 3.5 beta because I've, I've heard this has been out for like two or three days, whatever. Um, just make it, um, maybe we could make it bright, sir. Yeah. Something like that, you know, place the camera. Let's just go with 85 uh, and then lock to view and, you know, move it in here. Unlock it from view. This doesn't have to be so big. So G should see, right? Okay, peachy. And we need to pump more light. So I'm using abandoned slip away as usual, guys. It's fantastic. We could actually change the, you know, the um, just right click here and drag a mouse. Uh, Control T to add a new node so you can easily switch between them. Let's go to this pack here and see. Um, maybe gun gradient. Ooh, Misa likes. Hang on, let's create some drama. Uh, that is fucking cool. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, let's pump it up a little bit. One point two yeah i like it so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one